Welcome back mga Kabayan Techers! It finally arrived. So after ordering it from Makasi, I am getting the TBU 405N1. It's a space gray enclosure. As I promised, I'm going to show to you uh, the run speeds for this one. I'm also going to change my NVMe to a generation 4x4. And this is a silicon power XS70 4TB with a ROP speed of around 7000 megabits per second. So I took it out from the heatsink because I don't need this one because I'm going to use it for my cases here. I also bought a Gelid thermal pad. It's the one that I'm going to use. So let's open this one up. So specification for this TBU 405 M1. So it says here from the feature itself, it's up to 40 gigabytes transmission speed. It's compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and 4 and USB 4. It contains the enclosure itself, the Thunderbolt cable, the thermal pad, and the rubber stopper. The reason why I ordered this one instead of just keeping the other a cases enclosure, the TBU 401, it's because of the fin design. So I ordered this one directly from a cases. At that time when I ordered it, they have a good sale and I got this one for 112 Canadian. So you open it from the back and it's a quick release one. Then you put your NVMe here and then you just close it up. We have the Thunderbolt 4, we have standoffs here and also the thermal pad and also the panel. So let's put the silicon power XS70. So I'm going to put a thermal pad under in here. The reason why is the NVMe is double sided. And let's put this one here. And then we're going to use the standoffs for this. It lays perfect. Then next is I'm going to put temporarily a 1.5 thermal paste here and see if that one touches the enclosure here. So you will know that it touches the enclosure when you try to tap it, there's no hollow sound. And even if you take it out, you will see that it sticks on that part. And then I'll show you the speed test for this. From the Blackmagic speed test that we did, uh, this case is enclosure with the Silicon Power XS70 ranges around on 1 terabyte read and write around 2500 megabits per second. And for the 5 terabyte, terabyte read and write, it's around 2700, which is almost 50% from the previous external drive that I have, which is a Gen 3, uh, that is a Team Group MP34. Final thoughts with this one. For me, this would be the best enclosure that I have right now. The reason why I got this one, it's because of future proofing. This can do up to 8 terabytes. Uh, overall, I'm two thumbs up for this one. This is a good gift for somebody who's doing editing on Final Cut Pro or any video software or even photo editing at the same time. Silicon power, I have no complaints. It's really good. I even plugged this one on my old NVMe enclosure. It runs around the 1200 mark uh, because it's a Thunderbolt 3. The year is almost done. Thank you very much. And hopefully by next year, we are hitting the 1000 mark. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for next videos, kindly comment down below. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.